Oh, come on. Listen, I won't even be mad. Just, just Canadian them. South Park them. Just- <laughs> no, that, 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 see, that would be pretty funny. I would say that'd, that'd be pretty tight. And welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly. The show that covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how tos, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. I'm Vin. That's Jordan. That's Pedro. I need to adjust Pedro. Pedro's horrifyingly large. Hello. I know. <laughs> Lord, you were just with me last week. I had to squish myself a little bit. You, you Massive did. Mateus. You did. I, I think the resolution Mateus uh, fidelity is a bit too tight. Tight. It's 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 1080p. Toit. It's on. 1080p. No, it's 1080p. It's 1080 Pedros. That's how big it is. Oh no, uh, that's a lot of me's. No, that's a lot of Pedro. Right, hey, everyone. <laughs> You're watching this live here on Twitch. Help us for him. Do I got buttons? Yeah. Two canes. Ha, ha, ha. Two canes. Two canes. Yeah, two K. <laughs> two canes, same. Two C. Two C with a P and a T. I was are, trying are to you, figure uh, out the, I, I, how I'm, to I'm sorry, do the listen. onomatopoeia for the two can noise, but I can't. No, man. I'm, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm sorry. Just I, like, don't, I don't, I, I'm I don't just listen thinking. to Insane Clown Posse. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm like, <laughs> Pa, I think Lassie had a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Sorry to be so dark right at the beginning. We can do better. Um, Much worse. What's much, been much going worse. on, everyone? We got a big show for you this afternoon, this morning, all the other fun stuff. I'm going to go ahead and tell you this is a fair warning if you are watching us live. If you had Trek Media 2 on your wish list, I probably bought it for you today because we're going to be testing out uh, Trek Mania 2, the Linux Gamecast official Trek Mania 2 server. I want to do a little bit of load testing in the after show for that. So if you want to stick around, pop in. Um, we're going to try to keep it to like 10 people just because I want to see how bad the box wastes with that. And um, yeah, outside of that, I was in a Linus Tech Tips video, kids. I mean, peasants, you unfamous people. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's, random it's, it's, Reddit it's, comment. It's, yeah, right? It's, it's, it's like in Jingle All The Way. You see, like, you can just see like a random, oh yeah, I know that one guy. Yeah, it's in the crowd. Yeah, I'm famous. What, what was that? Just like spite or some shit like that? Like, Okay. Yes, I'm. I'm so jealous. I, I want. I want my comment featured in the. Oh no! I, to I was video. talking on behalf of them. Ah. <laughs> that's why I was telling at Jordan earlier um, when we were playing Tuesday. I was like, "That's a 14 year old account that took a long time to go back through all the comments and shit for like. Did I say anything terribly dodgy at any point? Uh, sorry to report. No, I didn't. But. On top of that, playing around with Firewars, everyone loves a nice little redemption arc, and I'm happy to report that, um, like, one of the first interfaces that I bought, uh, just what I was just curious, because it's like, hey, man, you get these things kind of cheap. That'll be neat. We could use that. And going by the information that I found online, clearly everywhere, that it worked, and I plugged it in, and it didn't work, and that was the origin story for interfacing Linux. I'm like, that's some bullshit. So... I'm going to be back with a working version of that. I had fun. I had, I had a jam out session. You know, I come in to play like four power chords. We're like, let's test 45 minutes later. My fingers are hurting. Then I have to scrub through that 45 minutes and see if there's five minutes of stuff. That's not cringe enough to work. Would break yeah. the internet. Yeah. Cause you, you, you start jamming in front of the camera, man. You start like yeah. leaning into Please. it. And no, don't, don't, don't judge me. You start doing the windmill. Or you're, man. Yeah, you get to do it. Oh, see, I'm not releasing it. Yeah. I clearly start performing after about 20 minutes in. Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm playing yeah, to yeah, the you, crowd. You, you get, you get into it. You start grooving a little. Yeah. 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 It's, it's like, it's like, uh, like recording yourself playing a VR game, but like having a camera outside showing your body just flail around a bunch. <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 you're like playing super hot and all this cool shit is happening and you're just like fucking doing the worm and like flopping around. Yeah. yeah. It's like that, but with more guitar. Pedro, what's new with you, baby? I'm not much. I was actually poking with the, uh, the Ryzen laptop, the Dell 5495. And I, um, Discover that uh, apparently the RAM I have, it's only 2400 megahertz RAM in there, but it's 32 gigs. And uh, the APUs, they like that RAM speed. So I was checking to make sure everything was fine. And for some reason, 
uh, the ram was only going at about half the speed. I'm um, motion sickness starting to kick in now. The- <laughs> oh, really? What? Get, 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 no, get, 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 get down there, Pedro. Relax your jaw. <laughs> But yeah, the uh, as it turns out, that seems to be an issue with the first gen Ryzen's and how it's being reported uh, by both the MID code and um, uh, what's the other word? Inksy. Uh, we were also using Inksy. I don't have a pitch shift uh, set up. That would have been brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't it? Wouldn't it just? <laughs> But yeah, this uh, it, it, apparently that's a thing because uh, if you have a first gen Ryzen and you run Inksy uh, dash M, it actually gives you the thing. I think you need to run it with root in order to get the full information. But it tells you that it's running at half the speed that you've supposedly set it to. So yeah, that that will require some more investigation. But um, with Ven's help, we uh, we seem to have tracked I, it down uh, to able to confirm first it on gen two Ryzen. different first gen Ryzen's. Uh, yes, yeah. a Threadripper and a seventeen hundred. So it's like okay, if you're getting that on both of them, that that that's the one common factor. See, the only way we can help this is if you head over to my wish list. <laughs> and, what and, and and buy the second oldest fire uh, Threadripper on there. Yeah. <laughs> Get the 2700, that'll really piss Reddit off next time I do a video. <laughs> right? <laughs> Jordan, um, new full-time. Oh, yeah, look at yes. you. Aren't you fancy? Yeah, new new full-time job. How's that map? Um, it's sitting right there. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I mean, yeah, it's, it's, it's the first week. I have, I have nothing to say because nothing has happened because it's the first week. Do you think that's the calm before the storm before they? Oh, abs- oh absolutely. hundred percent. That, that's how it always is. Like, yeah, yeah. Easy, <laughs> easy in, easy in. And then boom, here, here, here's the stack of shit we need you to do. All right. Yep. Looking forward to, uh, can, can we tell people what you're up to? Or? Uh, no, I'm just doing, it's another DevOps job at right. a, fin- a financial tech company. Oh, okay. Because I know you're talking about like the autonomous thing for a minute. And I'm like, mm. uh, yeah, yeah they, <laughs> they wanted me to come in the office way too often. Oh. And that, that's a two hour commute either way. Ooh. So, yeah. 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 With the house and everything. That's yeah. it. Oh, all right. uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> the, the, these guys let me work remote. So, and it seems like a pretty cool place. So, uh, yeah. Right on, right on. So, uh, are we going to have to bring the horse back into the office? Oh, and I listen. I I have a written order from a court saying that we're not allowed to bring the horse in the vicinity of any sort of building. Uh, the smell is just a little <laughs> bit too bad. It's the steam. Let it. Update. Speaking of court orders, coming right at you this week. Uh, this is something we talked about a while back on the show. Um, the people over at Wolfire, they're like, hey, well, the pe- one person from Wolfire. The guy. Yeah, the guy. <laughs> oh, no. It's like, you know what? I'm going to sue Valve or file an antitrust lawsuit against Valve. And the court's like, get that shit out of here, kind of directly mm-hmm. when they did it. And I'm really glad this was um, very in and out. Good judge. Uh, penis pump for you, buddy. Uh, <laughs> I know exactly what you're talking about, man. Right I know on. exactly what you're talking about. Uh, the- <laughs> LGC cares. That's getting Topical. extremely, that, extremely that, that, familiar. That's, that's from a fucking decade ago, man. I feel old now. <laughs> so, uh, in the ruling in Wolfire's lawsuit, uh, the judge writes, it does not um, articulate sufficient facts to plausibly allege an antitrust inj- injury based on the market. The plaintiff's allegations are not meaningfully different from Summers versus Apple, where the ninth court, the um, implausible allegation with Apple's 99 cent store was, you know, super anti-competitive and all that fun, but they just kind of tossed it out. You know, why, why'd they do it? It's called competition kids. That's why. And you know, there's plenty of game stores and everybody's got like their own thing. They're trying, you know, cause Epic's doing the, Hey, here's a shitty service, but free games and you know people get free games with their uh fork knife launcher that's kind of what that's turned into microsoft mm-hmm. they got the game pass thing like you know what buy it from here and you can play it everywhere except on linux because we're microsoft and uh gog gog's playing their cards man they get like hey we do drm free also fuck linux 
<laughs> Effectively, yes. <laughs> so naturally, but, we will blindly defend Steam. <laughs> Because I know that there are the coming. ones that are actively supporting and funding Linux development. So yes, we will defend Tec- Steam because that uh, I, that's I will what say, they're doing. Techni- te- technically, Epic is doing that too. They gave Ryan some money to fix some shit, and they gave Strider some money. Yeah, they gave Ryan stuff, some so. money to create a new API uh, based on SDL, uh, and they also gave gave Strider money for uh, Lutris. So you know, they're they are at but, least doing something about Linux, not exactly supporting it, but yeah, no, uh, I actually read through the, uh, the original when the, um, there was another website that had like the complete, um, reply from the judge and the judge actually made the argument that other stores and clients have tried to go against steam, uh, many, many times and without charging that 30%, which was at the crux of the argument here, uh, and they have failed. Uh, they have failed to uh, take over Steam, to have any kind of significant impact on Steam's market, so that's not a valid argument in this case. And as sad as that sounds, it, it did get a chuckle out of me, but as sad as that sounds, the uh, 30% that Valve charges does get you a bunch of things like free multiplayer, uh, a free Linux port, if, unless you go out of your way to fuck it up. But Or just not hit the EAC does. or battle eye button. Now now you can fuck it up by not yes. doing something. Yeah. I, I <laughs> so, I, I mean, like, I don't. I can, I can see some argument in that Valve has the network effect on their side. They've been around the longest. Steam, therefore, has the most development time, most money behind it. It's going to be hard to crack into that, uh, that sort of um, establishment. Uh, but yeah, I don't, I don't really see Valve pulling like a Microsoft and like bundling all their software together there and like giving, do, doing any sort of thing that would trigger some sort of actual antitrust investigation. So, well, I mean, even when we're sitting back, like thinking about it, uh, Valve is one of the rare companies that yes, they're an evil corporation, just like everybody else, but they haven't publicly demonstrated the evil part yet. They at least released the yeah. source for their evil. Negligence. Absolutely. But evil. Eh, maybe, maybe a little bit. <laughs> it's that sort of like banal evil that we all low key are because at the end of the day, we just smash each other's head in with, our, with a rock evil. for a uh, yeah. uh, bunch of berries. Yeah. <laughs> hey, if uh, it really boiled down to it. Oh, oh kind of like uh, Assassin's yes. Creed. <laughs> yeah, exactly like Assassin's Creed. Uh, but, you know, sp- speaking of, you might be able to play it with the uh, brand new version of Proton that's out 6.3-8. Uh, if you've been following the 6.3 branch, uh, a lot of the Proton experimental stuff has been wrapped up in here. Um, you'll see a very familiar list of games. Um, Battle Eye support, DLSS uh, with uh, Proton enable NV API and the GXG. It's GX- prime GI time now. <laughs> NV API uh, <laughs> configuration thing. Uh, better support for uh, different controllers. No crashes on Baldur's Gate 3. I can confirm that I did not crash on patch 6 when I played it. And it was pretty crashy before, so good on them. Um, yeah, but if you want to play uh, Assassin's Creed, uh, Age of Empires 4, Breath of Death 7, 6, yeah, 6, Magicka 2, Monster Boy, a bunch <laughs> of shit, um, that is all supported now. This is the closest we're going to get to whitelist. It is listed as playable. Uh, Mass Effect Three or a Mass Effect One in the Legendary Edition bundle does not have working audio, so you're still going to need to use Proton GE if you want to play that. Um, but yeah, mm. it's pro- progress yeah, marches the, on. The big thing here is very much DLSS, as you've probably noticed if you've been on Twitter and you've seen the thousands and thousands of reposts of articles saying, "Oh, DLSS is on Linux, but it won't be on the Steam Deck." It's like, uh, yeah. It won't be on your computer either because no. no one can fucking get their hands then on a twenty can, whatever. Like, Sick burn, bro. Yeah, it's like do you do you really Come want to on, point Pedro, out that Pedro, all you care you, about? I need is you the Steam to deck. admit. Tell it. Tell me not that watching The Verge <laughs> try to cover Proton DLSS was not the absolute most goddamn adorable thing you've seen this week. <laughs> Uh, it, it it's eye opening just how ill informed, despite Valve actually for once going out of their way to put all the information out there. Everything about Proton is open source. The information is there. They've uh, said it time and time again, especially after the Gabe Gear, and um, all the information is out there, and it's 
constantly being misreported or at least um, I factually I debatable. I, I genuinely do not believe there's any maliciousness in this. This is no, it's just yeah. pure negligence. <laughs> I, I, I mean, the, at, at a certain point, like you can't get overly technical trying to explain stuff to people. And certainly with a lot of the technology that's coming down the pipe via proton, there is definitely some, what the fuck is this? And why should I care? Mm-hmm. Uh, and if you, if you don't, yeah. and if you don't have that knowledge ahead of time, then yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of hard to convey that information. And um, you know, but, to your point, man, uh, you got to think about it. We're, we're well into year two of the uh, great uh, silicon GPU shortage. And um, mm-hmm. yeah, no one's getting, I mean, if, yeah. Okay. I did because I'm like, really, I get to use that. Huh? <laughs> You know, I, I, I've done that. But, but you got, you got it early. You got, you got it early. Yeah. Not you got it before it got real bad. I, I, yeah. I got, I got the 2060 back in when you could just buy it on launch day, which I did. And I got the founder's edition for MSRP and like, okay, we're done with that. Did you hear AMD's raising the prices of their uh, 6,000 series yep. by like 10%? Yeah, they're, they're, they're already <laughs> insanely high. I don't. Uh, you you should not pay nineteen hundred dollars for a well, sixteen hundred. The statement was like you know materials and all that, but we're sure that the um, AIBs, the uh, people who are selling, it, they will mark up the right. Um, you, from yeah, no, the, you're increasing the price ten percent for the AIBs. They're going to tack on another ten percent. They're going to tack on because another they 20. can. Well, because I mean, they can. Let, let's be honest. I, I think everybody down the line can just get wrecked because they're tacking on right now. Currently, a hundred percent. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, oh no, that will cut into our hundred percent profit margin. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Can't have Wah. that. Can't have that. Intel. Come on. All right. All all right. Well, let, let, let's let's talk about less depressing stuff. Steam Tinker Tool. Um, used to be STL, but apparently, if you're using any sort of computer assisted drawing stuff and also gaming on that same computer, you might have a name conflict. So uh, with the latest release, version 8.0, they have changed it. Um, if you don't like typing out full words or you don't want to go into your uh, launch settings and correct this and you're not running computer assisted drawing programs, you can just set up a symlink or an alias. Um, they say that in the release notes, but there are a ton of improvements for this release. Uh, lots of support for uh, mod managers. Uh, all the downloads that um, Tinker Tool supports now have custom status and installation pages which is pretty nice. Um, and RIP, the one-time Proton button. But Pedro, you uh, they, they added support for a specific mod manager that your panties are all wet over. Not just mine. It is, uh, as far as I can tell, Frothing. the most popular mod manager uh, currently out there on the interwebs, especially uh, if you use the Nexus Mods website. Uh, Frappa Pedro. It's, uh, it's the Vortex mod manager, and I've, as someone who's tried to get that working with the Lutris install script, which, to be fair, gets updated fairly often, but it's been broken for a long, long time, and Lutris just straight up crashes while trying to install Vortex, so that's that's a big plus that they got there, because you just, type, if you click on the Vortex link that they have in the announcement, and you go, uh, you just follow the little command that it tells you how to install it, it just works out of the box. That That's kind of crazy. Then you can just sign in with your uh, Nexus Mod account. Get right, Pedro. All this did was cause me to have Polar Vortex stuck in my damn head this afternoon. <laughs> damn it, yeah. Damn, yeah. damn it, Flula. <laughs> So, so, so the, the moral of the story here is regardless of your game of choice, if you're using steam tinker tool, you now have the easiest way possible to get your titty mods in there. Why are you always like laser sighted on the titty mods? Is every game in your like collection just tits? Yes. Yes, it is. Got it. Got it. Hey, maybe if you like some vintage low poly, (laughs) but high res Ah. memories. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Spe- Not quite as of, low poly anymore. <laughs> Dances with yes, one of the first, am I right? W- one of the first mods for um, Neverwinter Nights was actually uh, uh, the the Sex Adventures. It was a nudie mod. But yeah, the new uh, big release for Neverwinter Nights Enhanced Edition is the HD Models and Textures Pack for Neverwinter Nights Enhanced Edition, which comes with higher resolution uh, textures, higher resolution models, and higher resolution meshes for the models, especially noticeable Holy on f- the faces of characters. Yeah. What's wrong with their <laughs> things? 
Well, see, <laughs> now, now you can see them clearly enough. Massive forearms. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can see it clearly enough to make it out now. No, it, like, we'd like to take the, the this chance lim- to say you have a way with your DNA, and welcome yeah. to Neverwinter. <laughs> the 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 pe- people's limbs look like firewood kindling, but at least now they look like HD firewood kindling. Uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> but yeah, uh, they they, um, they they have it they have it on a separate download though because Pedro, you were testing this on your uh, netbooks. Yes, that's one of the things because like all of my netbooks, uh, they all run the game like the Neverwinter Nights Enhanced Edition. They all run it at like native resolution thirty ish yeah. FPS, give or take. Yeah, but uh, uh, twelve hundred by eight hundred. Yeah. Native resolution. Uh, 1366 by 768. 640 but yeah. by 480. You know that game was played at 64 six back in the day. But the moment you drop those 4.1 gigabytes of enhanced textures and models and everything else, it goes from 30 FPS to 5. It, it becomes a slideshow. It's They're not kidding. If you have a low-end system, do not. Do not. <laughs> Yeah, but like, like honestly though, this is probably the best this game has ever looked with the, with this and the new lighting. Yeah, it's uh, oh yeah, it is it is, it is and the, shocking. That how... last screenshot, if you if you ignore you know the uh, limbs, the, the <laughs> limbs the, and the uh, general the body shape. Yeah, the lighting looks amazing, and like the faces of the characters now actually have bump mapping to them rather than just being a flat uh, model the, with the, texture. The, the solid so, stick. The solid yeah. stick <laughs> okay, yep. here, here's my big thing. My, okay, when when was uh, Neverwinter Nights first released? 2001? 2002. 2004? 2002. So you gotta give them credit, man. They, they, they've stuck with what they know. Like, this <laughs> this is keep... Yep. Uh, this well, is I, the original I, team that are no longer working for BioWare. Now they're called Beamdog. They're rocking and rolling with that. Did they, uh, have they done anything about the, um, how have they, um, what am I trying to ask? The, the blinky horse? No. Do, does this provide HD head wiggle? Uh, no, the head wiggle is still the same, but the heads that are wiggling are much higher resolution. Do you, do you, do you, <laughs> Can you turn like a little motion blur? Cause people are just like <laughs> jiggling around all the time in that game. It's fucking hilarious to me. <laughs> no, no. If, if, if you, if you uh, put it in motion blur, you make Pedro mad. So actually, yeah, yeah put it in motion on. I love seeing extra, it. I, that's why I watch Pedro blur. to play, man. Like two like NPCs and they just get together and they just start, their heads just start jerking around. I'm like, all right, I guess they're communicating. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that, so, that's so. how they simulated talk because the mouth didn't move. <laughs> oh, come on. Listen, I won't even be mad. Just, just Canadian. Them. South Park. Them. <laughs> no, that, 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 see, that would be pretty funny. I would <laughs> That'd be it. pretty tight. <sighs> dead cells. I, I've tried to get into dead cells a couple of times, and um, this might. No. Mm. Well, this is certainly uh, doing what every uh, very, very popular indie game likes to do, which is include bits from other indie games. And, uh, well, Dead Cells is no different because they are bringing new weapons, new skills, new skins from Hollow Knight, Blasphemous, Hyper Light Drifter, uh, right. Am I alone? Did everyone, anyone else think that was fucking Lemmy over there on the right? Yeah. Uh, All right. for, for, for a hot second a there, little yeah, bit, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the um, of the games that they're referencing here, we've thrown shares at six of them. Uh, it's just Curse of the Dead Gods, I think, is the only one that we haven't, uh, the which is kind of crazy. Uh, so yeah, it is. Uh, it's available now. It's a free update, and if you have the game, and if you saw a uh, it's like a couple hundred megabyte update show up, this is why you the. Um, I'm not entirely sure because I haven't found uh, there's a couple of hints as to how you can get access to the skins and the uh, the skills and the weapons and everything for the different games. And I was looking for the blasphemous one, but on the little gift that they have in the presentation page, they just so they just show the uh, the penitent one, uh, like doing the potion thing that he does in blasphemous and then dying. Mm. So I'm kind of curious to know what exactly is that doing? I don't know. I, I downloaded um, <laughs> Dead Cells. I'm like, oh, look, update. Oh, if I can play the hall. No, you can't. Like, ah, no, you, 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 I'm you, get, you get the You got to find it first. Yeah, no, no, it's, it, you don't. You don't even get to play as Hollow Knight. Uh, you get you just get weapon. the nail. Yeah, you yeah. get the nail, and you get the swings uh, like Hollow Knight does, like the bounce swing. If you do the down swing on they things, they also put in benches. 
Yes. Yes. <laughs> Uh, but I, I got to know that where, where's Mr. Rogers out, out of all of this in a bloodstained sweater. You know what? what? What did you think of the remake of that? I I thought it was pretty well done. I, I thought, you know, all the work that went into it. I, I that yeah. That's probably like the only way to do it, though, right? Now, just yeah. all the artists and all the different takes yeah, they, on it. They, they, they do like, yeah, five second frames. Yeah. yeah. The, 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 the community collapse. Yeah. It reminds me of like the old Newground stuff. They used to do that a lot more. Yeah, man. Those yeah. those people are in their 40s now. Right. Yeah. They're, they're, they have jobs on actual like animation studios. <laughs> oh man. I hope they have better jobs than that. <laughs> yeah. Indeed. Well, coming up next, we show you the true way to game on Ubuntu without ripping out your uh, desktop and a glimpse of the future. Oh. I don't know. There was plurals of numbers that are technically mm. plural, but they were getting thrown around. So I, I, I was a little bit confused. Have you ever Chances seen are you are too, but don't worry. Six, it's horrifying. Oh. All teeth. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry we'll get to the news uh at some point we do need to address the other numbers though the numbers that you uh everyone who is contributing to this tiny slice of insanity on the we, internet we need, uh, to, we need to create a uh, for. <laughs> convince what, Pedro to film his damn netbook fun the the illicit number is going into our secret caveman accounts. I mean, we shouldn't. Have, definitely shouldn't. Yeah. <laughs> I did Crap, post I my Christmas list on Discord the other day. <laughs> so well, if you can get me those netbooks that I'm still missing. Okay. This, this, oh, no. this was horrifyingly sad because Pedro wants netbooks <laughs> with car stickers on them. I shit you not. This is, this is like two his. of them. Yes. Specifically the Asus uh, Lamborghini VX6 and the um, Acer One Ferrari Edition. So Those if two? you like, so if you would like to pay for uh, the institutionalization that we're going to force Pedro into, you can head on over to patreoncom slash Linux Gamecast. Uh, select a select a backer level. You get some cool stuff uh, at any level. You get access to our Discord channel, which is real neat. We're hanging out there the rest of the week. We're chatting there. Um, conversing. You can watch yeah, conversing. You can uh, watch some, or you can listen to some uh, some audio stuff that happens via weekly, daily, Wednesday, and this. But a little bit more money, you get access to the show notes. You can watch the uh, show congeal over the course of the week. You can issue corrections. You can issue suggestions. If you will have a cool open source project you want to plug, you can do that through our Patreon as well. Um, and a little bit more, you get our executive producer level, which gets you your name at the very, very top of the credits. You get custom RSS feeds for the pre free super shows and, and a live video feed too. It's pretty neat. Uh, we got, we got, we got any, uh, fun stuff hidden behind the Patreon paywall this week, Ben? I don't have any early, early things. I'm probably going to be walking through and I think the next thing I'm going to be doing, there, there's like two things I want to try. One, I might be doing this for patrons. I don't know if I'll be doing it this week, but definitely by the new year, I want to have a system set up where I can do some like editing with DaVinci be like, yo, all right, you got some questions for like how this stuff's put together. We can do it live. We can stream it out on Sundays. I don't know. I, I got to get in the right mindset. I think I got the tech pretty much balanced out so I can pull away. But I'll be putting a early preview, probably Tuesday or Wednesday for the uh, DigiDesign. Um, we're going to be doing a redemption arc. We're going to be trying to tell a story about it. Almost two years later, we went from the origin story of like, man, somebody needs to like clarify this stuff on the internet because I just wasted money to like, hey, look, now it's useful. I mean, that, that that's the wonderful thing about Linux is like on, on Windows, you got to worry about your hardware not being supported on Linux. You can like be like, man, I can't wait until I get support for this thing 20 years later. <laughs> yep. And we'll <laughs> still be here with your support, fighting the confidently incorrect bullshit that is starting to come up because, hey, look, the Steam Deck runs Linux. So we need to be Linux reporters now, even though. Indeed. Uh, we got, but in addition to that, we are Linux hawkers. We got a store, store.linuxgamecast.com. I have a prop for this even. God damn it. Um, yeah, I, I, I got my, my, my use oh, me shit. shirt over uh, here. Boom. Yeah. Look authentic LGC merch. Look at that. Woo-hoo. Feel, feel the, the material. Can you can't smell because it from here. you can smell. It smells like Tide Pods. All right, baby. That's what it smells like. We got a store at store.linuxgamecast.com. Mm, Buy yourself your own lonely penguin t-shirt or some stickers or a coffee cup or a mask or a hoodie. We got lots of stuff for you to place on your person's places or things. What do you think the smallest t-shirt you could fit into would be? Um, without ripping it? Uh, optional. Uh, 
Okay, like if, okay, yeah, that if, I if can fit into a excess t shirt. Yeah, an excess. Yeah, like, yeah. like yes. if, if it just needs to be a closed loop of fabric by the end of it, yeah, I could probably squeeze my way into a small. Like we we can get all the limbs in it. <laughs> yeah. Bre- breathing completely optional. Yeah, right. Like it, we we got we got we got to define get into a shirt. Um, <laughs> We, we got uh, we got wish lists as well. If you go to linuxgamecast.com, put your mouse over the support button to that wish list uh, section. I have one. Pedro has one. Ven has one under studio. Jill has one, too, for Weekly Daily Wednesday. You buy us some stuff yeah. off of that, and you get to send us a cool little note that we get to read on the air. Uh, if you want to have to read us, it out loud. Yeah. We have to. That, listen, if, if, that, if, that if, is if, the deal. That, that, that is the yep. dealio. Uh, I got to thank uh, Mr. Foxdog for buying me a copy of Cyberpunk. Thank you, nice. Mr. Fox Dog. <laughs> Thank you so much. I am grateful. For I want to see if you could run it with that 1080 because I, I took a crack at it with Me, the 2016. It's like, I, oh, like, no. yeah. I, oh, I'm I'm genuinely curious. Stay tuned Thursday when uh, Jordan versus Cyberpunk happens. We'll see how well that goes. Oh man, get get ready, Samurai. It, it, you don't have the option. This is this is yeah. Let you know what? Test that stream before you go live. You, you know what? Fair, fair. I'll, uh, yeah. It, it, it may be an impromptu Pokemon stream. Just Thanks saying. to each and uh, every one of you out there. Stick around for your names in the credits. Uh, it means the world to us. If you subscribe to us or you know, if you come and switch up, you also get access to our Discord. We have IRC. It's completely free. We don't like putting things behind a paywall, but we do appreciate your support. Keep oh, what? We forgot to mention Pebble uh, as a new as a donor last week. Pebble is a new... Donor from last donor. Week. Yes, they are. We, we can't tell them. We, what we, they we didn't say their name in the show. It's so. delicious. I, I, we just wrote their name down in the show notes. <laughs> Sorry, week. Pebble. <laughs> Sorry, Pebble. Did, did either of you ever get a Pebble? The, like the, the, the uh, watch? Yeah. I have a pine mm. time. I straight up have one of those. Some, it's probably still in a box too. Cause I never used it. <laughs> not, not a big wristwatch fan. Don't, don't like them. Hmm. It was more of a curiosity. They were cheap. They were like hundred bucks. I'm like, oh, look, it tells you. Uh, yeah, twenty five dollars for the pine time. That that is why I have one of them. <laughs> <sighs> now right. you might have heard. You might have heard some people are trying to game on Linux, and um, they are going to uh, use their extensive, extensive. Some might even say un- non-existent um, <laughs> tech background to try to click their way through it. And you know what? Ubuntu's here to help. Yes, uh, after uh, Linux gaming, uh, touch the mainstream uh, tech YouTuber uh, circle. Uh, conveniently enough, on November 25th, after the two relevant videos uh, came out, uh, one Oliver Smith posted the Linux gaming with Ubuntu desktop part one, Steam and Proton. Now, to be fair to them, they don't address the Squeaky One's videos at all. Not a link, not a mention, not even a snide remark, which I'm pretty sure they could have uh, worked up a few into that particular uh, article, but not a single one in sight. It's just very cut and dries. Oh, look, there's an autumn sale going on. You can install Steam. Uh, this is how you enable Proton for everything. Uh, they explain what Proton is. Uh, they tell you to go check Proton DB. How to report uh, whether or not a game works in Proton DB. That's very important, and you should do it. You can install uh, Steam why? right from the desktop. You can type it in, and it tries to give you an Electron player in Portuguese. I noticed that too. That was uh, that was quite bizarre. <laughs> it's only it's only for Portuguese uh, videos. Mm. <laughs> what, but if you, if, if you, if I you, try down, that, no, this, is, this is bad, dangerous advice. You should not try to attempt to ast- install steam from the command line. No, you, you might uninstall your desktop. your desktop. Yeah. You will just completely. No, that's on Pop it. OS. <laughs> that's no, it's, Frank it's, it's, Ubuntu. This is the legit Ubuntu. <laughs> listen, listen, I heard, I heard pop is part of the Ubuntu ecosystem. And so they're the same thing, just like Debian. <laughs> And Arch. Yeah, that's, yeah that that's wasn't a thing too. on Twitter for a, a solid couple of days or anything. Okay, I, I'm going to give you some pro tips with the uh, guide making. You need some circles around some things on this one. Yep. Yep. Um, yeah, like the tick box at the bottom, that's the important one. Circle there. Just saying. <laughs> after, well, oh, wait, he, before he, Steam Play? After Steam Play. Before yeah. Steam? Yes. Yeah. Well, okay. yeah, the, you, yeah, can, you can press, the, a, you can press also, a button and, 
They also end the article, uh, tooting their own horn, so to speak, by saying, oh, look at this, uh, on Ubuntu, uh, we have the highest percentage of games working. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then you look at me and it's like, oh, it's the same, right, it's the same distro, right, 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 right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is, it's not a bad article by any means or measure, but again, the, 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 the timing, it, it seems a little suspect. What do you mean it's suspect? This is like probably a good damn time to get. This is like one of the reasons I was rushing out like the OBS. I was like, ah, oh, let's just get that out yeah. there before, yeah, uh, I got- you know, the people like I installed Linux the yesterday. This is how you do the thing. And, you know, but it's somebody with like 500,000 subscribers. Like I'm the Linux tech guy. And I'm like, oh, fuck. Yeah, have to his, like- his name is, he's, he's the Linus tech guy now. The Linus tech guy, man. So, I mean, this is good that they get stuff out like that. And yep. It's, it's going to show up in searches and nothing in here is like egregious or anything. It's, a, like, All right. it's, 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 a, it's a little overly basic, but you know, gets people started. But that's where we need to go. This is the most difficult Cut thing <laughs> to yep. like for us to do. And that's not a humble brag at all, people. That is yep. like, I don't trying to, I, I can't get to the mindset of what would be the AB comparison going from Windows to Linux. Like, what would I be, you know, what would I try to do? Like, I've Power recently shell. in corporate well no i'm talking about like okay i i've installed the thing i immediately go to the vendor's website to download the drivers mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you don't unless you do <laughs> well so sometimes you need sometimes you need to go to github to download the drivers because the vendor's not oh, uh, you're just fucked then man you can yeah yeah you end up with like a web page and something. then the github project makes uh the thing proof uh idiot proof because you done goofed on video Shell okay. scripts are hard, man. <laughs> we, we were talking like about that before we went. What well, well, might have been in the pre-show? That was I caught the end of the WAN show last night because I heard Linux, and that's going to get me to come walk in the room. Like, all right, what are we talking about? And you know, Linux was like, "Hey, it's probably a good idea though because we're completely new to Linux, and we're trying out these projects, and we've even had a developer uh, update their project with some instructions to, uh, you know, because." For like brand new users, and I was like, "Uh huh." Idiots. Like that, that that commit was called <laughs> making this idiot proof. <laughs> <laughs> they low key, well, not low key. They straight up called you an idiot. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> well, I mean, can can we at least have that argument? Because that I understand. Like, especially from developer side, you don't know what challenges people are going to hit sometimes. Like, you're no, completely, no. It's out and of if scope, d- out of the your- first you're hearing about the challenge is some big YouTuber with a million or more followers or 10 million followers, whatever the case may 15. be nowadays. Or 15. Uh, it's, yeah, if that's the first you're going to hear, then you're going to go, well, fuck. Well, yeah, I guess I got to do something. Thanks, dipshit. Uh, I wouldn't <laughs> say, okay, maybe uh, I need to clarify some things. Yep. Yeah. No, at, at the at the end of the day, uh, at Pedro, the end of the day, Pedro's at least being an elitist little motherfucker. It's like, of course, well, I mean, I mean that that's Pedro <laughs> elitist Mateus for you. I think my Discord status still says entitled Linux user, so <laughs> I stand by it. My, my, mine just asks people to kill me, so I don't know. Talk to me about Jedi Knights because no. Star Wars is a totally non controversial topic exist. here, right? Yeah, no. Uh, at least this one is before it was controversial, or although it was, it did it strike people a little bit uh, at the time. This is Dark Forces. Uh, you may remember the first Jedi Knight series of games, Dark Forces and Dark Forces Two. Well, this is a open source engine reimplementation of Dark Forces Two specifically. It's mostly built in C. And it is. It works on just about every operating system and architecture that you. It's a can function by to function under. reimplementation in C, baby. Where's my Rust at? Yep. Yeah. No. Uh, no Rust wait, here. Wait this is all C. <laughs> uh, and it is. It, it's very good to see a new engine for these uh, kinds of games that actually introduces some much needed functionality because the original ones they don't scale terribly well in 2021 and i'm not just talking about the resolution i'm talking about there's a lot of things back in 1997 or 98 that this game came out the original thing is uh, dark forces yeah uh, uh, it will oh. at some point what do you do just like <laughs> run around and uh you you you, you have both guns and lightsabers yes. in this oh you shake your little light wieners okay 
Gotta get it. Gotta. The, the uh, Jedi Knight 2, Jedi Outcast, and uh, the other one, uh, Jedi Academy, were very, very popular in multiplayer because it was, it was basically it was Star Wars multiplayer. Mm. <laughs> it was Quake yeah, it was, with it was, it was, lightsabers. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now that, that's and, cute. JK.exe. And uh, that's how you actually get the the engine to recognize the first uh, of the Dark Forces, which is you have to actually recompile the um, a specific file, which uh, is that bit that Ven was uh, highlighting there earlier. So yeah, those poor average gamers, they will not be able to, to enjoy the first <laughs> of the uh, Jedi Knights. So yeah. It it's good. It this is just good. I, I I very much appreciate it because I like the Dark Forces, both of the games. I played them a lot back in the day, so it's good to see that they're actually getting some love with uh, some open sauciness. I like. I got I got to appreciate <laughs> Shiny Quagsire's username because it's he's a dope slappy little purple man. Mm-hmm. But yeah, uh, this guy looks like he. I, I gotta I, I I appreciate this guy from my little DevOps heart because it genuinely looks like this guy's doing continuous delivery. Because I was gonna <laughs> type up a little summary of like right. what was the last release, and then like this guy's been cranking them out, man. Hot damn, he's I been was, busy. Uh, yeah, there's one thing I've been noticing. It was like the, even way back in the olden times earlier this week. I'm like, yeah, there's, ah, uh, that, that was that, it's opening that spout. And yeah, you're getting like sometimes two updates a day. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Homeboy's busy. I am I'm probably going to play around with it, especially now that, that we, we can have death match. That, that would be a chaotic fuster clock mm-hmm. for an after show. How many, how many people can we get in at 16? I think. How do you even manage that? Does somebody get to be like, I don't know. Orco big, big or somebody. Maps. Oh, big man. <laughs> <laughs> there, there was no limitation on uh, the characters that you could be, so you could have all the same one. Okay. Right Luke on. versus Luke versus Luke versus Luke. Yeah, versus everyone's gonna be Vader. Bayonetta. But didn't they try that with like one of the more recent <laughs> EA story where you got like a well, super? At one yeah, point, yeah, yeah. And everybody well, else well, is peasants. So you can just run around just murking everyone. Well, it, that, it was like if you, wanted, if, formula. <laughs> if you wanted Even to play as Vader, if you, if you wanted work? to play like as Vader, did somebody like turned into like Mecha Hitler and Mussolini or some shit. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, no, if no, you no, were no, doing no, no, well no, no, enough, no, 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 or if Batman. the RNG, no. um, yeah. Well, not, the not dark battlefield, the battlefront, the battlefront dark yeah, the battlefront games. Uh, if you were doing well enough, or if you got the RNG luck, you would spawn in as the hero character, but. the like the original uh, Battlefront 2, not the EA one, the previous one, that was like 64 people on the same server, 32 on 32. It was crazy. So, it was yeah, because cr- you it was had also a lot of people PlayStation. blasting. You're, yeah. you're also <laughs> doing it over like the PlayStation modem. So it was not, it was equally crazy because shit wasn't where you were shooting at. It was fun. Times. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah, you had a lot of people shooting at the hero character. So even. Yes, you are more powerful, but you would be immediately I, targeted by like everyone. everyone. No, I apologize for even bringing this shit up. Well, I'm moving on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Time to talk about the elusive X87 emulation. So this is from BoilingSteam.com. Links to all this stuff in our show notes. Uh, and so we've, we've been seeing a lot of advances in the ARM space over the past couple months, a couple of years even. Uh, Apple has been releasing the M1-based uh, architectures. Uh, China has been coming out with some cool stuff like the Phytium 2000, which with, combined with Box 86 can actually run Crisis now with a 5500X or with the RX 5500. Um, so that's pretty neat. Um, and uh, th- this this is this is double whammy. A, because of the, the Phytium D2000. Fuck, it's like an octa-core ARM CPU board that I can't fucking buy right now, goddammit, and I, I just want it so bad. <laughs> uh, but Box86 had a couple of enhancements as well, including uh, CSMT support for WIME, which was the OG performance boost for GL titles before D- D9VK came out, which it also now supports, which is what it uses to run uh, Crisis. But this is this is impressive. This is... The, the future is here, man. We're, we're, we're getting there. X86 emulation on ARM is getting to the point where you can actually run Crisis now. That's crazy. I mean, will it run yep. cri- Here's, you know, when it, when you see something like this, you're first like, ah, oh, that's it's like, no, 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 no. Th- this is a preview of um, retro gaming 20 years from now because, yeah, that, that's how you're going to be playing your classic x86 titles 
emulating them on your Raspberry Pi 36. Yeah, the, the $25 computer that can like outcompute everything. Oh, yeah, 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 that, yeah. Yes. Yeah. 100%. 100%. <laughs> and um, yeah. no, I mean, this is, I really believe that uh, to Jordan's point, this just makes me like, damn it, I want that chip and you can't get one. Yeah, I, I I want that so bad. Jesus Christ, I want I want that. Oh, I I want ARM and I want a PCI hole and uh, and, yeah. and 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 maybe yeah. a video card if if you're lucky. No, even that four hundred dollar, effectively a motherboard for the compute module uh, that had the PCIe hole, four hundred dollars mini ITX, and it immediately disappeared. Because eh. people <laughs> bought it, Pedro. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it's not. Listen, it was yeah, it was in no danger of you buying it. Oh no, 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 no! no. <laughs> <laughs> the, I have a Pinebook Pro, which uh, is an ARCH sixty four RK thirty three ninety nine. That same uh, chipset that uh, Pine seemed to be big fans of, but it it's not a bad uh, SOC. And um, as someone who has been running Manjaro ARCH sixty four. Uh, I can tell you for a fact that this is great and it's great when you can get it to work, but ARM, um, well, you can't really complain about multi-lib on ARM because it doesn't fucking exist. 32-bit is 32-bit, 64-bit is 64-bit. That's it. Uh, you want to play uh, 32-bit stuff on uh, 64-bit? Okay, you're going to have to create a CH root with another 32-bit ARM distro, and then you can run the stuff that's 32-bit inside that CH root. Oh, yeah, you just run it through that's my it. ARM wine, right? Warm. Warm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I can't um, no. really think of a good way to uh, portmanteau those two, but yeah. I don't no. know. You can make it an uh, SH. Box 86. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, I mean that's the thing. Go play with it. Uh, like I've seen some people doing this with a Raspberry Pi four into a much mm-hmm. lesser degree because you know this thing's got an AMD GPU plugged into it, and this uh, yeah. admittedly this is like, huh, neat, not useful, but it it it's it was like getting X running on the original Raspberry Pi. Like you, you waited I, I, around, you hung out, and it finally popped up. You're like, cool, all right, wipe it. <laughs> I definitely want that board for non-gaming stuff. Yeah. Nefarious non-gaming stuff. I want, I want to make a little shoebox jackbox is what I want to do. Make a little low power thing that I can throw at people. Um, Prince of Persia was, this was uh, originally on the Apple. If, you, if they were old when I was in um, primary school, the Apple IIe. Retro gaming, man. Yeah. Green screens. Doing that, you had to put them in, you had to boot them up. Well, you know, much, much later, maybe a little bit later, they released uh, the MS-DOS port, which is pretty tight, man. I There's a mini documentary on the guy who did this and how he did mocap effectively back yeah. then uh, with it, it frame was tracing. Yeah. And with, with his brother making jumps and shit, yeah. Right. And uh, the reason we're bringing this up is because, check this out, Prince of Persia, based on the disassembly... Of the DOS, the superior DOS version. It's called SDL Pop because that's what you think about when you do it. It's open source. And um, I just wanted to give it a mention, man, because you can just download it and play with it. Now, it is SDL2, which is pretty tight. It's got mods, apparently, because there's a mod folder, which it's is got okay. Quick saves. MIDI it's got support. Quick saves. <laughs> CMake. Um, yeah, everything looks that you would need to uh, get your uh, MS DOS inspired uh prince of persia on but minus, minus the music uh, but it does have compatibility for it now man listen if you if you're playing just uh ring up pedro he'll beatbox in the background for you sure it's pretty tight. anytime hey, uh, that invitation is always that would be a shit experience <laughs> it'd be shit pretty shit beatboxing experience. too but you get what you pay for so <laughs> <laughs> You can cut through Prince of Persia, um, like casually. I think it's like a 45, 50 minute long experience. Yeah. So, I mean, it's, yeah, it's not it. very long. It's got like three levels. Mm. M- m- most of the time was spent waiting for it to load anyway. So they well, made to make this. it. See, I want somebody to do for this, uh, what I've wanted somebody to do for the original amnesia, fully automatic weapons. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, just, just, just give give Super Mario a loaded handgun. The gun. next time I see a zombie dog, I just want to light that bitch up. <laughs> Done. But yeah, no gamepad support for the OG Prince of Persia. Um, Persia, not Persia, but yeah, whatever. Uh, and quick saves. The quick saves are going to make like saves coming such a thing because that game was unforgiving as shit. So yeah. Hey, you might be able to go get try it, it if you've never minutes. played it. Go try it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. We got, we got one more em- engine implementation we got to talk about, and this is OpenIG. We got to thank Patrick Mir PPC on uh, Discord for suggesting that, mm-hmm. which you can also do by getting into our Discord or our show notes. So we got it. We got an entire separate uh, thread for that in Discord chat room, whatever you want to call it. I guess it's a room. Um, Open Imperium Galactica. Uh, it's a 4X game from the late 90s. Uh, it seemed to be relatively popular, relatively well perceived or re- received. Proceed. And what's interesting, perceived, perceived. And what's interesting <laughs> about this one is that they actually have permission from the devs to ship the assets. So you don't actually need to have a copy nice. of the game. You can just run everything out of the GitHub repo, which is pretty freaking neat. You got to love when uh, companies are willing to do that. It's like, yeah, we're not maintaining this. You guys can have it. Um, so, yeah, it, it's it's prepare for some uh, 90s-tastic uh graphics but but you know what hey in terms of game preservation it's pretty good no i mean that's awfully big of the developer to look at something you know 22 decade three decade old game and not go i bet we could rebuild that real quick in unity and make some coin bras (laughs) yeah i think uh most of that effort seems to be with the imperium galactica 2 because yes there is a sequel to this one and that one seems to still have a Pretty big following, at least on Steam. There's a. Uh, I, I was surprised when Mira linked it on Discord. It's like, oh, that's actually got a lot of reviews. Huh. The <laughs> only Galactica I want to hear about is season one of Razor actually being filmed. Damn it! Sure. Yeah. All right. Well, coming up next, we got to climb the astral towers, and what are we going to find at the top? Hopefully, something better than the end of the Dark Tower. Ogres. <laughs> Welcome back to the chair position. We're here to throw chairs at uh, Linux games. We run them on a variety of uh, different hardware, running a variety of different Linux Linux distributions. Then we'll give you a score based on our lawn chair metric system. Uh, this week, we're taking a look at Astral Towers from Apus Software, Apus Software. Uh, it's done on the uh, the Apus, Apus, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing this game engine. You can pick it up for about... Uh, for $99, 5 bucks US. What is it? A turn-based card game missing strategy and puzzle elements. Find approach for each of 78 missions. And we got to thank Apus, 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 Epis. I'm not uh, for sending us. You. Yeah, that, uh, that's your I'm, I'm, all l- yours. Listen, man, listen, man, I'm, I'm going, th- I'm iterating through and eventually I'll get it right. But we got to thank them for sending us some keys over Curator Connect. So let's get into it. Vent, or not, Ven, Patreon. Ah. It's time to duel. Yes. And I don't have a spirit of a pharaoh that I could, you know, just kind of swap just, places just, with just, right just now. Just make your voice deeper. Just make your voice deeper. Talk <laughs> like this. Oh, yes. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, well, it launches out of the box to a black screen uh, with a... <laughs> Are we done with that? <laughs> no, keep going. <laughs> okay. Uh, there's a just a teeny tiny little square uh, on the bottom left uh, with nothing... Uh, if you hit alt enter, you, uh, it actually puts it in a window and you can actually see the game at that point. Uh, uh, you can alt enter once again, immediately afterwards, and you'll be playing in full screen just fine. Uh, it maintains 144 at 2560 by 1440 because it's only rendering, I put JPEGs in the notes, but it's actually targets and they're TGAs. Um, you click on things and things happen, but the graphics and the sound are uh, perfectly serviceable. Uh, but those are not why you're here. You're here because this is a cheap card game and you're wondering if it's worth a damn. I can say for certain (laughs) that it is. Uh, It's a puzzle game with card game mechanics and if you have to, you have to figure out what the winning combination of attack, defense and healing, uh, what that combination is going to get you to survive. And yes, 
burning through turns to get enough mana to summon t- two twenty defense golems back to back is absolutely valid, as Ven will attest. Uh, I think the devs realize this, so they've made some enemies drain your mana if certain conditions are met. <laughs> Most of the scenarios are fairly easy, but uh, there are some where you just straight up die in one turn unless you do the exact right thing. Is that right, Jordan? Uh, while I don't entirely like that, I do appreciate the whole you get to fail quickly so that you can try something else very very quickly afterwards uh honestly if it weren't for that little full screen cock up i'd actually give it full marks so three chairs <laughs> well there you go i've i've definitely learned something about the heart of the cards thank you thank you yami pedro um so on fedora 35 64 bit with the r9 3900x and the gtx 1080 ti launches out of the box i thought i got a freeze at one point but it turns out my kvm just kind of burped uh the art is simple and effective uh kind of reminds me of king's quest a little bit really as long as all the cards are legible we're all good uh controls are simple click click boom and the soundtrack is just some uh generic medieval noodling fun wise the card game is pretty simple inscription actually uses a, a similar attack plus HP method for describing cards and you get one type of each of the mana per turn and you can cast spells based off of a limited remitor. I was vibing along dueling until the game started to change things up a little. Usually you just got to clear the board, but then the game starts throwing some additional requirements to victory by which I mean the card game equivalent of a nanny bar. Specifically, you got to keep specific dudes alive while the game tries to murder them. And what that boils down to is you need to decipher the exact script your opponent plays and find out what your half of it is because you're not given that half of the script. And that's where it starts falling flat for me because what I like about card games is the strategizing and the maneuvering around another player and trying to ride that luck skill ratio for victory. That's why I like stuff like Griftlands and why I have a very complicated relationship with Magic the Gathering. Uh, Here, you just really have to reverse engineer your last, uh, the back part, your part of the script as Ven will get into. Um... And having no deck building just kind of uh, makes it poo-poo for me. There's a versus mode. Right now, you can only do local versus hot seat. Apparently, and I had to do a little bit of research on this, online multiplayer was going to get added once there was enough players online to support it. So, yeah, you get remote play with hot seat, and that's it. Forever. It kind of reminds me a bit of those chess puzzles you'd see in newspapers. Remember newspapers? Mm. Uh, Good for lonely fun, but not much else. I'll give it two cheers. (gasps) My turn. I... I, I tried my damnedest to get some voice modulation and I just don't have anything in the stack. <laughs> I'll fix it in post, Pedro. I'll fix it in post. Okay. So, um, yeah, over here on Debate and Eleven, it ran pretty decent. I didn't have any big issues with it. I did get one free, so I had to cast Kill 9 to get that sorted out. Uh, limited options, but it has one note and full screen, two things I look for. They are both there. And again, as you might expect, uh, running on this end, antique first gen Ryzen with incorrect memory reporting as we discovered go back and watch the pre-pre super shows for that uh 1920x 32 gigs of ram and a 2060 yeah it made with a performance now for fun i really do have to assume this is an extremely simple stripped down card game because i never felt that i was juggling maths or stats at any it point is. <laughs> like okay you know what hell even to the untrained eye someone watching me i might have even appeared to new or know what the hell I was doing. Uh, I most certainly did not, rest assured. Um, the thing is, Brad, you can kind of, as uh, Jordan was alluding to, you can kind of brute force your way through this game. I mean, reverse engineering sounds classier, but I don't call it what it is. You brute force. You just got to work your way back because it hits you with the same attack pattern every single time. And I don't really know what cards meant, but I just start dragging, clicking, things start dying. You find a turn solution that doesn't get you killed to death, and you just backtrack and repeat and repeat, and eventually things start dying. I had a 12-minute battle because I found out, like, the Ice Wall plus the Tree Grinch combo was doing, like, minus one to the boss card. I call the one at the top the boss card. And, like, every third or fourth round, I'm a patient man. I just waited it out. Eventually, it worked. Uh, I'm going to say at the end of the day, I mean, this is the most basic of bitches uh, card games so if you're buying this holiday season for somebody like me that you just want to uh, make make them feel like they could play a card game, I'd say go, go for it. Yeah. I mean, this is nowhere near as complex as GoFish. I mean, for $5, you can do a lot worse. Um, card games, just not my jam. And back to what George said, online play, uh, if that was didn't have a big lock over it, 
might have got some extra mileage out of this because I could just get wrecked by these two yahoos. But, you know, chicken and egg on that one. Like, yeah, sure, we'll add it. As soon as people start playing it, well, why aren't people playing it? I don't know, pandemic? Surprise. <laughs> 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 uh, but, but I'm going to say two. Solid two. Gentlemen, I mean, where does this really sit? Cut, in, really in the middle. Yeah. Like, I mean, this this is done, but I don't think it's done in a way that would satisfy. When I say this, I say it's very, very, it's simple enough to where I, I can completely track everything going on and I can work out my strategy. But admittedly, once you know how the cards are dealt, one could say uh, it's pretty just a war of attrition between you and the script. Yeah, it is, uh, like Jordan was saying, it is uh, managing to figure out what the AI is going to do, and to what you were saying, Vin, it is basically um, basically just trial and error. You figure out, okay, they do this, they do this, and they do this, and you have to work your way around that. And so, the... Here, here, here's, here's, here's the thing, though, like... To, to that to that point, there is there is a player versus AI mode, and I did play a couple games of that. And the way the way the deck building or the the way the spells work in that is like you you have everything, mm -hmm. and like that's mm -hmm. that's reasonably fun, and it's not so much reverse engineering the uh, the the script. You actually have to play against the AI. But you can't but just like, like toss out a bunch of tree ladies. You, well, I mean, that's what I ended up doing. Oh. So <laughs> okay. The, the 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 dryads are very very good cards, but yeah, it is a OP. card game distilled. There, this it, it's Astral Towers it, distills like the card game genre to its very basics. It's, uh, you don't have to worry about mana puzzles. because you get it's it's the chess puzzles. That's what That's it is. What I'm taking away from yeah. it. It, it at the end of the day, <laughs> is it safe to say it's a better love story than Artifact? I'd say it's about um, unequal quality. My, in my opinion. Yeah. Right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. Well, coming up next, uh, we get the full patch notes from Star Citizen from YouTube and uh, some handy dandy tips. It's the end. Chances are you've probably enjoyed at least a little bit of this. I don't know, if man. If not. I, was, How I, I wasn't did you enjoying make it all the way try, here. I was trying to make you squeaky and I wasn't having a good time because I was flying through different plugins. <laughs> like, like, please don't crash. Please don't crash. <laughs> yeah, no, it is. Uh, we, we managed to get through this without any major fire. So that's, um, that's always nice to see. I probably jinxed it at this point. But hey, if you'd like to let us know of something that you noticed that we done goofed or that you vehemently disagree with, please <coughs> head on over to linuxgamecast.com, uh, click the contact button, and fill out the form. There are some caveats at the top you might want to read if you're a game developer or if you're trying to send us some earls uh, for us to look at. Don't put them in the thing tier, because tier spam golem's going to go, nope. I've been meaning to ask you, do you get the, um, like early, uh, keys from whatever it is to like, Hey, here's a free key. Go stream our video game. Occasionally like or whatever. Yes. Yeah. Uh, no, no, yes. this is not stride. <laughs> this is not stride. This is like some other service that is like latched onto the show thing. That's where I was showing you, uh, what was it like? Car detail simulator. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh. <laughs> Jeez. I, I didn't get one for Cardi's Hail Simulator, no, so I mean, yeah, no, that's a different out, service. And they're like <laughs> two weeks before the game's released. They're like, hey, if you want, nah, I'm good. Wait, 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 wait. Like, does it just <laughs> simulates the details of a car, or are you like cleaning You're a You're cleaning a car? fucking car, man. Yeah, okay, exactly. okay. It's a car right. cleaning simulator, the, yes. The, the all right, I, 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 just needed, I just needed to clarify for, for my sake. <laughs> <laughs> also, I'd very much appreciate it. If you have a question on like something I've done like with OBS or especially with the audio stuff, this is a good time to use the comments section of the YouTube video so I can put two and 13 together, like sending like a detailed paragraph thing. Of, like, this is what I'm trying. And I think I, Pro probably, probably a better option would be like hitting up the video on Patreon too. You could do that. Um, but yes. <laughs> That doesn't really work in the email. <laughs> there you go. Tell me about long YouTube comments, Pedro. Oh, oh Pedro. Ha. Oh, yeah. 
This one was th- this one was big. It it's been severely trimmed down for the sake of of the show, but uh Our yeah, sanity? the original one yeah. was yeah. <laughs> it was on uh last week's episode that we addressed the fact that uh Star Citizen has now added EAC support. And um Jur M uh had something to say about it. Well, he had a lot of things to say about it. Uh well, I dot M dot O dot uh, small backer um, of smart uh, of star citizen, not smart. Um, the game is fine. It's purely the cheaters causing the havoc. Once they have a system in place and unauthorized access is gone. Uh, I've sat there for eight months seeing what the issue is. Uh, there's uh, there is no question. It's hack tools at play. And apparently a star citizen, despite it, not being officially out yet and being in development for the past 10 years, there has a lot of people cheating in it because it is a multiplayer game where you have or will Currency. have at some point in the future. I guess yes. it's also <laughs> I guess it's also really easy to write cheats when like the game is unfinished and everything oh, yeah. is exploitable. Fine. And uh, the the thing about anti cheat and this is the point where uh I do need to uh get on the soapbox a little bit. Anti-cheat no is a can, problem can of a the... <laughs> Anti-cheat or cheating is a problem with the game itself. It's, if you want to run anti-cheat, run anti-cheat on your server. Everyone's already connecting to your yeah. server anyway <laughs> to get to things. Fair enough. <laughs> Everyone's already connecting to your server to play the game, so you can do the anti-cheat on your end. You don't need something running at kernel level on your client's machines. Stop making it the responsibility of the legitimate players who are giving you money to get fucked by a very intrusive anti-cheat system. Easy anti-cheat's that not very intrusive. It's... Pretty intrusive. <laughs> Not really, because it's, it's wholly it, ineffective. It up, I mean, it popped up a window that one time. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's just a little teddy bear. That's the thing. Uh, the anti cheat doesn't really stop people who want to cheat. The malicious actors will always find a way to cheat. The only people that anti cheat is uh, hurting at this point are people on Linux, legitimate players who want to play a game. That's it. That's the yeah, only people that it's affecting. Filthy. They're a bunch of filthy terminal so users. So Pedro's solution to the them. cheating problem is wide open. Just ignore No, it. my solution yep. to the cheating problem is the cheating, uh, the anti-cheat should be run on the server, not on the client. It's the game dev's responsibility to basically because, because make their like game. input to a server can be spoofed at all. Nope. Not at all. Uh, yeah, and if you detect that spoofing or if you detect an account is acting maliciously, the anti-cheat should detect that and handle that at server level. Hang on, can I ask you a serious question, though? Can I get a blue teddy bear? You can get as many teddy bears as you like. Right. <laughs> blue, pink, yellow. It's got to be blue. I, I, I draw my anti-cheat <laughs> line at blue. Any, any particular shade of blue or just any blue will do? Kind of a lighter, lighter tone, you know. <laughs> I, I might yeah, like, no, like the, the whole anti cheat thing. It kind of irks me, and especially because it keeps shafting people rather than the developers who created a shoddy game in the first place. That's easy to cheat on. How about we say the saving I, grace? Oh, oh, oh. How about this? How about this? How about this? Uh, <laughs> we start counting up all the games that you're or, utilizing EAC and um, Battle Eye. There's not a lot. No, but it is no. stuff we do want to play. <laughs> Back for blood. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, those are some popular games. Multiplayer games. Go figure. <laughs> yeah. So there's oh, like and one uh, thing. Oh, and too. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. You guys wanted to play that. Here's one of the things that like with Star Citizen. I was thinking about this when I was uh, tourniquating it. Uh, Star Citizen is going to be one of those games that when it goes gold, no one's going to want to fuck with it because you're dealing with motherfuckers that have been playing it for 10 years. Oh yeah, they're they're mm-hmm. gonna be the real pros. Yeah, well, like, yeah, well, like, oh, day one. Oh, mm-hmm. look, uh, the entire population's been here for a decade. Hmm. Is is it just gonna be that one naked dude from that episode of South Park on in Warcraft, just running around ganking noobs? Probably. Except it's it's, it's just it's just gonna be a spaceship with like that spray painted on top. Mm. Well, I don't like reading about myself, Jordan. You don't. So I will read for you. This is about. 
uh, Mr. Hands from Mr. Buppet. They say, Mr. Stone, do you know a gaming mouse that's good for large hands? This is for a Xenotic player, Mutagen, who has very large hands that he can no longer adapt to regular mice. His fingers drag along the running, or his fingers drag that. alongside ruining his name. Uh, at 90 years of age, he right, could use some help. I'd like to know your, uh, I'd like to, bleh. I know you like your Elecom huge trackball. If you have also found a mouse for big and tall men, I'd like to pass that along. Thanks. Ugh. I have uh, I, I, big mouse. This is my gaming mouse. <laughs> and here's the handy thing about it. All right. Now, even the huge is, but I mean, it kind of fits, you know, it's not like I can just, I, I have to search for it. And these are cheap too. It was my second one. They're about $50 a piece. Check this out. These have an added benefit because when you're getting wrecked in first person shooters, you'd be like, ah, oh, sorry guys, I'm on a trackball. <laughs> and people, it comes pe- with the excuse built in. Dude, and people yeah. are like, fuck, you're playing that on a trackball? I'm like, I know, right? And you're like, well, you're doing pretty good, little buddy. I'm like, ah, oh, thanks. Pew, pew, <laughs> pew. Um, no, uh, as far as like large, I, I don't know. They make a gaming version of this. Like, all jokes aside, they make the huge. It's not quite as huge, but yeah, I mean, there's not a clean solution to that. I'm the floor is open to suggestions, Jordan. Uh, I have not super huge hands, but I am a fan of the Logitech uh, G five O whatever series. Um, I find that you can adjust the weight. I usually just max out the weights in them. So they feel nice and weighty in the hand. Mm -hmm. They got that unlockable scroll wheel, which will just completely ruin your life because you (laughs) won't be unable to adapt to other mice that lack it. Um, but yeah, it's relatively comfortable. Um, uh, you, you could, you could also maybe look at uh, getting one of those like horizontal mice or the the vertical mice. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> the, the the ones that you use your, with your fist, yeah, that, that might actually work for you. Those are also a lot more ergonomic, so maybe if you're having some, like, yeah, the, as well. there's a whole range of ergonomic mice the, the vertical ones or the big hand shoe ones, because those are designed specifically to keep your hands off of the table. And uh, I know some people uh, where I work who have specifically requested those because basically leaves your hand in one position and you just you move your arm to yeah yep now i do have another option that i will bring up um i can't vouch for them but i do want to get one at some point is uh getting a 3d mouse which, oh, like a leap motion no like one of these well <laughs> these are not cheap. With a knob. Yeah. <laughs> Trust me, they get wickedly more expensive after this one, but uh, 283 and um, <laughs> oh, Connexion, they've I, been I, around for a long time making these things, and it's just, you can turn it, wiggle it, move it forward back, so it's more of a uh, joystick, but, I mean, it's designed for desktop use. And that is the prop, that is what they use as a prop for the controls of the expanse. I just realized that. Looking yeah, at right yeah, <laughs> these, these uh, have definitely shown up on a, yeah, I brought that up first time I watched expanse. I was like, did you know? which I'm sure you already did, but yeah, I was kind of new to it. So they, something like that I would look into, or, you know, if you want to control the enterprise, uh, they have yeah crazier ones with LCD <laughs> touch screens on it that he could program to like run macros and, you know, snipe all you new yeah. yeah. Don't get any ideas, Pedro. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> I, I am fairly happy with the uh, Logitech G903. Three, nine yeah. <laughs> yeah. My hand again. My left hand is not the biggest or anything, but this one is comfy enough for me. So, yeah. But you know, you know, we can we can crowdsource this to LGC viewing audience. If you have large hands or a large mouse that you want to plug, maybe send us some hate mail. There you go. There mm-hmm. may, maybe maybe what's what's his name? I completely forgot it. Uh, M- Mutagen. Mutagen will be able to uh, play Zenotic once more. All right. On that handy tip, we got to bounce out of here. Hey, if you want to get hold of me, I'm just at Vin Stone on Twitter. I'm doing things there. I post there. Um, I retweet, and sometimes I read the holy fuck. I get so many notifications off of that. I should have put that screenshot up. Uh, go find out what I'm talking about. Uh, we do have a Mastodon, Mastodon, mass.linuxgamecast.com. I do post things there, usually about Klingon justice. So, yeah. I'm Jordan Spung. I'm the Wesley Crusher of the podcast. You can follow me on Twitter. Where's your at the Burning Fool? (laughs) 
Yes, exactly. Um, or uh, follow me on Twitch uh, when I stream occasionally. Twitch.tv slash Burning Fool. Not the Burning Fool, just Burning Fool. There was some discussion about that. Mm-hmm. And uh, contrary to what this episode might have inclined, I don't actually hate uh, Light of Sec Tips. I occasionally watch his stuff. And some of the points that he brought up in the two uh, episodes that he's released thus far were uh, relevant. Watch the uh, Wednesday show for last week uh, if you'd like to know which one specifically. (laughs) But yeah, it is... um, (laughs) If you'd like to tell me otherwise or that I'm a terrible person because I'm calling out uh, specific things that he's saying at and accounted for on Twitter. Why not? (laughs) Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, (laughs) we are the Tech Tips. Until next week. (laughs) Is, is, is that the backing band? I don't Find know. Us in the tech tips? Have, some, have some credits. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Man, I've had some obnoxiously chewy stuff. That's uh, it's like an eat more bar. Yeah, that's up in the here. reason I don't like um, the obnoxiously well, chewy chew candy. Chew on this nonsense. We got to thank our patrons, our executive producer, or our advisors, Omegas and Artharon, our executive producers, uh, the things. Not returning. It's Aldi S. Barbara Scott Michaud, <laughs> Mr. Fox, Black Atomic Sass, Mike G, Mike T, uh, Empty Drummer, and Kohaku. Dark Wing and Abstraction bringing up the Chicago kicks ass, along with the sea monsters like Jack B, Renault L, Ryder X Machina, Truggy, Verus, Anuda, Justin Frost, Klein, Strider. And Death Notes, Nova, Basil, Chad, Romeo, Marson, System T, Craig, Renee, Leonardo, DeCresny, Kim, Smashly G, Chris, Stephen Jill, Benjamin, Doom 2.Wad, Stephen, Dirty Dean, Beck, Oh God, Game Motron, and Dodger. And a shitload of cheerlings. <laughs> like, look at, you know, look at them. Of course, Tyler's they include Jim, Monica, Monica Alex, Pebble, Pebble yes. Oilo, <laughs> AJ, Minus Nine, Stevie, Frazo. Look at these fuckers. And the fuck up. of standing Mike, cannibals. Arthur and Linux Nuru, Aldius, Noctilus, John, Eshep, and Gamatron. <laughs> well, kids, that's going to do it for this delightful train wreck. And just remember, there's no Tron like Voltron. No, there's just there's no Tron. 2K that movie never Voltron. existed. <laughs> never existed. You imagined it. Five dudes. <laughs>